What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. D-Dub here, and welcome back to the forest. We have another new guest with us today who you can actually hear this time. Cafe! Hello! Hi! Hello! <laughs> How are you? I'm good. <laughs> Cafe has helped a lot in this game. She's helped farm logs even back in the days where Carson was playing. The three of us would farm logs together off camera because there's a lot of logs involved. Anyway, and we actually just did a farming session right before this, so we have Ready a lot. To go. We are. We have a lot to build today. The goal, and it's probably overly ambitious, is to finish this side, at least the interior segment. Basically, build all the catapults and the roof line, or the ceiling, not actually the roof, because those are two different things. And yeah, it's gonna get expensive. I think we'll do the roof first just so we can see what we're working with and then do the catapults from there. Plus it's easier to build into one blueprint than into 24? I think it's 12 on each side? Yeah, it's gonna be expensive. Oh, but don't let me forget. Actually, should probably do this now. These pillars right here, I don't think they'll be able to be placed once we have the roof built. Okay, so right? prioritize. Yeah, so I'll start with those. Is something repairable? Is that what I'm saying? I don't know. We'll start with those and the roof. And this tree is probably going to have to go too, unfortunately, because the yeah, leaves are very much... Too. It leaves much to be desired. <laughs> Alright, though. We're going to get cracking on this roof, and we'll meet you in a sec. Yeah, that's one thing... I... I gotta get better at is letting other people place blueprints. I'm so picky that I end up like just taking it makes charge. Makes more work for you. What'd you say? It makes more work for you if you don't let other people help you. It does, and some things are super easy. Like, I'm not super easy, but just with clear directions, like place pillars, make them all the same distance apart. Boom. Fairly simple to follow and fairly easy to tell if it's not done properly. Yeah. So it's an easy fix. Some stuff in this game, are, it's just the blueprint building is dumb. Like you got to build it three times the wrong way intentionally to get it to do what you want it to do. Yeah. But pillars are not the case. And I feel like your quality of builds is just a higher standard than mine. Mine's basically like, does it do what I want? Yeah, good enough. Well, mine's that yeah. way too, just with the added caveat of, does it oh, also look cannibals. nice? Does it also look nice? We got cannibals? We're at? Yeah. Are they, uh, the H building. Are they in the base? Yes. Why does this keep happening? We definitely have a spawn point inside, which is not okay. Well, she's not angry at me yet. There's two of them. I think they're both ladies. Are you having a yeah. nice look at them? You gonna um, scare them away? She's she's running away from me. She doesn't want none of this. You also haven't engaged in that many cannibals in this world, so they might still be testing the waters with you. We don't got, got time got nice for that, though. What were you saying? She's got nice red hands. She, do, she got her nails done. Uh-huh. And her whole body. You said you saw two? Yeah. Is that one? The other one went like in front of with me where I'm pointing, like over by the wall kinda. Oh. You can one shot these guys if you hit them. Ooh, right through the head. Look at that arrow. It's beautiful. Oh, and I got both of them back. Sweet. I don't really feel like burning bodies right now because I'm just not feeling it. So we won't. This is a hard hat only zone and they don't have hard hats so they're not welcome. <laughs> they're getting in the way of our work. It's not safe for them to be here, you know? You gotta remove them. What is that sound? Is that a mutant? I don't hear anything right now, but I'm over by log storage. It's a squishy... Is 
This is terrifying. Oh, it might be a baby? It might be. Yeah. That's what that, that sound is. There's a Virginia nearby if there's babies. Probably. Well, there's t there's cannibals. Uh. Wow, this is so hard to see. I can't see anything. It's so dark. Oh gosh. Um, this is fun. <laughs> I'm glad I have armor because I'm gonna need it. And I'm not looking forward to finding that Virginia. Do you need help? Uh... I, I think I'm okay. I hear them hitting walls. Yeah. I'm getting them off the walls. Okay. I think we'll be fine. Yeah. Everything's fine. Everything's okay. Here's murder on the other side of the wall. Don't worry. Everything's fine over here. I'm fine. Don't worry. It's just the sound of things dying everywhere. Oh, I'm out, I'm out of stamina now. This is not fun. I'm going to eat real quick. Oh, I don't have food. That's fun. <laughs> I'm really enjoying the katana. I'm not going to lie. A lot of people say they hate it because of how much stamina it uses. And it does use a lot. But... At the same time, it's also beautiful because it's got range. Oh, we're painting more cannibals' nails, Cafe. Oh, good. Uh -huh. Spotty. Yes. I think she very much enjoyed her spa day. Good. All she right. deserves it. I am not looking forward to uh, hunting down that mutant. What's it called? Virginia. That's the word. I hear more babies going squish. I'm gonna go kill yeah, more babies, I guess. Now back to building pillars. Much more therapeutic than killing babies. You know, sometimes kids are stressful. Oh, I love your jokes, Cafe. They're not always great, but when they are, they're good. No comment? No. <laughs> oh, you're so awkward. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, when they're good, they're good, and when they're good, they're also bad. That's the definition of... It's just... A good joke, though. Like, it's, it's just—it's the only term I got. Okay. <laughs> I'm really curious to see how this is gonna end up looking when it's all said and done. Because, like, the plan is solid, and in theory, it should look great and work awesome. But an application—that's. Yeah. That's different. The execution. Yeah, we'll see how it ends up looking. But we're almost there, so that's good. Just like, what, two more cards worth? And then a lot more after that to get the actual catapults built. That's going to take so many logs. Yep, I'm playing fetch right now. Yeah, I'll, I'll join you. Oh, the one that's there is full. Oh, I just emptied it. Oh. Make a liar out of me. <laughs> what the heck? This is so messed up. It's like bugged. I have the pickup symbol on the log cart that's in front of the main counselor cabin. And I'm nowhere near it. And it looks like if you look close enough, you can see as I'm pressing E on the one next to me, it's filling up the pickup bar on the other one as well. What? You're just strong enough that you're going to take both at the same time. From, like, 20 feet away. Do you remember Inspector Gadget? He had the Go-Go Gadget arms. I do. Go-Go Gadget! What were they called? Arms? 
Yeah, I think it was like Go-Go Gadget arms and like a Go-Go Gadget hat and like whatever he was using. I just love the whole the Go-Go Gadget phrase. Like, it's it's fun. Okay. Ooh, it's raining, man. I'll do ya. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna cut this tree down while I'm here. Just because it's getting in my way and I don't like it. Okay. But I looked at you the wrong way. If I'm cutting this tree down because it looked at me wrong, the wrong way, what do you think the entire, like, forest at our farming site did to deserve getting cut down? We don't talk about that. Oh, no, no, no. Don't fall that way. Don't fall that way. Is it okay now? It's okay. It, like, leaned on the edge of the building and then... Yeah, I saw that as I was coming was in. Slightly terrifying. Okay, before we finish the last two logs, got a question for you. I'm gonna come okay. inside real quick. Do you think we need a pillar? Oh, just kidding. I answered my own question. These are flush with the wall, so a pillar would just obstruct them. I was gonna say, do you think we need a pillar at this end as well? But would you like to do the honors? Uh, two more sure. logs into the ceiling. Do, also make, going to freaks. Yeah, just stay moving. Do it from inside so we can watch it, like... <laughs> and close. Uh-huh. As long as it doesn't, like, get us stuck, because we're under it. I hope not. Let's find out. Okay. For science! Oh. <laughs> One sec. <laughs> well, that was anticlimactic. I, I lost the blueprint! I can see it from right here, if you need it. It's right in the center. Okay. Okay, that's not as... Okay, that's oh, not bad. I can walk far... Yeah. yeah. Okay, I thought we were going to be restricted to, like, this. Just the middle, like the yeah. the tiny little... You like can walk all the way up to it. And can running into dog? it doesn't give you that many issues. Well, kind of, but no one's going to be doing that. Well, some people might, but... That's their choice. <laughs> their prerogative. This is kind of cool. Would you say it looked like a crawl space? Yeah. Like in old houses where they had the crawl spaces off like the edge of the upstairs. Like an attic or like a crawl space like underneath a house? An attic, uh, right? Like an attic. The roof line. Yeah, my childhood home had a uh, crawl space. So the way that my bedroom was the only room upstairs. So the way that it was is I had my room and I had slanted ceiling on two sides of my room. And then I had crawl spaces on the side for, like, closets. Mm -hmm. Which my mother, being, like, five foot four, had no issue with. <laughs> that sounds kind of cool as a kid, though. Oh, yeah. I had a fort in there. Like, a permanent fort? Yeah. Blanket fort? We had an, we had an old couch mattress from a pull-out couch that we had in there. And I had, like, a little old coffee table from my dad's apartment. It was my fort. That sounds awesome. I totally just missed the stairs. Blanket forts are arguably, like, the best thing as a They're kid. They're cozy. Like, hands down. Just across the board. The best thing. And they're... They're fun. Especially if you get, you know... Not a candle, because that's a fire hazard waiting to happen. Especially as a kid, but... Yeah. Get like a flashlight or something. And I remember once when I was a kid, my sister and I set up a blanket fort, like <laughs> maybe five feet in front of the TV. And so we could have our game console and play like Mario Party or something from like within the blanket fort on the TV without having to like move the TV. That was a lot yeah. of fun. This place is going to be so cool when it's done. Yeah. It might also be incredibly laggy, but it's still going to be cool. Like, I'm just starting to picture some of the buildings and, like, the archery range. That's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. Do you have any buildings that you think would be cool here? I meant to ask that of, like, everyone that joins any additional buildings. Because Crush and I kind of mapped out most of the place, but there's still some empty spots that could easily house buildings. And we're just not sure what to put there yet. 
Sorry. You're fine. I'm just looking. Is it okay if I start putting logs in catapults? Yeah. That's what I've been doing. Okay. And we're dumping sticks every chance we get. Oh. Because each one takes 15, which is entirely too many. Also, we might have to do some rope farming. Like, I don't know if we'll have the time this episode, but I plan on doing some log farming sessions, potentially even later tonight as we're recording this. And it might turn okay. into some rope farming. Everyone go grab for rope and go put it in the catapults. So I don't think this will be getting finished. But to be fair, you making a mess over here? Um, maybe. Yes, definitely. I'll answer it for you. On the bright side, though, wow. even without them finished, you still get the, the look. Like, they still look finished for the most part. The rope, I don't think, yeah. is a visual thing at all. This is going to be so nice when it's done. Minus the rope that you can see. I might even try fixing that. Hold on. Yeah, definitely not. Scratch that idea. Let's go get more logs. Are we going to be putting rocks in any of this path? Uh, Not that path. No. None of this path is where it's going to end up. It was all just kind of rough placement. Especially this long one right here. Because yeah. we don't know what's going to be stemming off of this. I know we mentioned doing gardens back there on my left. Uh, we've got the archery range on the right, and then that medical building, whatever that ends up becoming. The first aid hut, first aid cabin, I guess that would be what we'll call it. The triage the tent. Office. We can call it the nurse's office. But that's too... What if... You'd have more than just a nurse at a summer camp, though. I don't know. We had a nurse when I went to summer camp. Only a nurse? I don't know. I was a kid. You didn't know the degree of qualification that your first aid professional had at your summer camp? No. No. But I did get really sick at summer camp once. That doesn't sound fun. Yeah, I had an allergic reaction to some medication I was on. How bad? Uh, I had a really high fever and they quarantined me because they didn't know what I was. Oh. What was wrong with me. So pretty bad. Yeah, I missed like two days of summer camp. That sucks. Yeah, like I woke up middle of the night, I was really hot and I had a rash and they thought I was allergic to something from the lake because I had been swimming in the lake. And so like they made me take a shower and they were, you know, if it was like something on my skin to get it off and like... Mmm. Yeah, it wasn't great. Ah, dang it. <gasps> Oh, hello, friend. He has fire. Um, he started a tree on fire. Is that a thing? Is it gonna... I don't think fire spread's a thing. Can I please land this shot? Can I please land this shot? Come on. Oh, oh he started his friend on fire. Ow, I'm on fire, too. Trying to hit him without hitting you. And I'm failing horribly. There we go. There we go. Oh. Okay. Get back in my backpack, arrows. Well, that was fun, getting set on fire and thinking we were going to lose a tree to cannibals. Yeah, I didn't know that the tree would start on fire. Um, I'm thinking we should burn all these guys. We're going to bring them okay. inside and make a pile where that guy's at. Because we are almost done. I think, have you put the last of the logs, or not the logs, sticks in the catapults yet? Yeah. Okay, just kidding. We are done with everything. And we'll revel in this shortly. Is that all of them? There was four, right? I'm not sure. We'll do this trick, though, because it's fun. And feels really satisfying to do. Although, unfortunately, I should have actually probably built a fire. Because I'm cold and wet. And this doesn't do anything for me, heat-wise. Hey, I got an arrow back from one of them. 
All right, though, let's take a look at the inside without our hairspray setting everything on fire. I hear someone. We'll worry about that in a sec, or at least I will. It's beautiful, and it's complete, and now we need to go get more skulls to fill it with, because this is a lot of skulls. Oh, yeah, okay. Time to kill things. Are you kidding? Give us some peace and quiet, please. There's at least four of them. Why did we build walls if they're gonna just... We totally trapped spawn points inside, and it's not fun. Ow. He's... I'm not gonna fight right next to you. Just ask him to kill each other. Yeah, I'm slowly dying of thirst right now. <laughs> it's not opportune. Okay, since you can have I'm just going to quickly grab a drink. Well, at least skull storage works. And it does a good job of it, too. Holy crap. This looks so good. Like, like we were saying earlier, the whole, in theory, it will work, but will it actually? It does poke through a little bit, but it's better than hanging skull lamps everywhere. Did you press the wrong button? Yes. I'm cleaning up my mess. Oops, I'm also putting dynamite in there. Yeah, it doesn't let you. I wonder, here... Can you pull those back out and put them in the one on the left? I'm curious to see how many they hold. The left isn't behind you? No. The left is in the one to the left. Never mind. I got it. I don't know how many... Wow. That's what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 skulls in just one. This might be too much, but oh well. In the meantime, we can store other things in here, but eventually we're going to have a separate storage room for, like, explosives and bombs and food and snacks and all that stuff's going to have a proper place. And first aid will be at the, what do you call it, the nurse's cabin or whatever. Nurse station. Sure. <laughs> but yeah, this side is more or less complete. Uh, we are going to end up adding... Probably three or four, just looking at the space. Maybe even five if it'll fit. Uh, bone baskets. Basically just right up against the wall on either side. To go along with the skull storage. But that's something that's just going to be super grindy. We'll take care of it. I think they're, what, 25 sticks each? That sounds right. They're expensive. And like I said, I'm planning on having a farming session soon. So everyone can just grab some sticks and put them in. Moving on, though. We want to get these suits two sides to match so our next goal is to tackle this cafe already cleared the uh the blueprints we're gonna end up redoing all those so all we have to do is run a giant stone rectangle clear both ends the long or the short ends of that build the stone walls and then line up the roof so that it's the same height as the other we might want to get up on the walls and run a custom foundation across just to level things out. But that's our plan. Sound good? Yep. I wish characters' mouths moved. That'd be kind of cool. Cafe, would you like to place the, blue the blueprint? I will do my best. All right. <laughs> I just hopped up here to run the blueprint over to make things level and the back end of this looks <laughs> kind of funny it honestly looks kind of cool like if this was the the roof line it looks kind of like piping like some sort of pipe on an actual roof and then you've got like smokestacks coming out that looks kind of cool that could be an idea for if we ever build like an industrial building anywhere I don't think that'd have a, a purpose anywhere here but basically 
use catapults and just poles sticking through. It's kind of a cool look. Perfect. And then we've got the foundation up above, which we're not building, but that's our reference line for the roof. So now we can build the stone walls up and then do a roof and hopefully get that built. And that should be enough stuff for one episode. Oh, time to do the grind of running out and staring at the ground. Where I grew up, there was a town called Rockville. Because, like, any time you dug for, like, anything, it was just all rocks. Rockville? Rockville. <laughs> That's literally the name of the town. Is that why they named it that? I don't know, but I remember my parents. We had a dig for something, and um, it was just all rocks. It was miserable. That sounds like a very hard time. I can't see, but I'm also shaking my head. I'd expect nothing less. Do you want to put in the last rock? Joke's on you, there's two more. Okay, well, ah. rock. <laughs> All right, it's done. And now we need to place the ceiling to make it line up with that. Ooh, and something we'll need to be cautious of. If we do... Well, if we want it to match this side, is it going to be that big a deal? I think this one we actually clipped through. I think that runs... Let's just build it and find out, because we did add this little bit at the end here. If we do just the snapping custom roof on this thing. See where it... That should be fine. Yeah. It goes all the way there anyway. Okay, so now I have to basically just hop up here and try my best to line this up. That's a pretty good vantage point. So just to get things even, that is just about level on this side. Wait, does that change in elevation? I don't know why that does that. I know you can't see what I'm seeing, Cafe, but basically the blueprint right lines up exactly with it at the front, but then it's a little bit lower on the far end. It's very strange. How does that look? Roughly even? Just from an eyeball perspective? Yeah. You're not giving me much, yeah? You think it looks okay? Yeah, I think it, yeah, I think it looks okay. I went and stood on top of the hill outside to look at it. Oh, okay. You were just incredibly quiet. Okay, uh, let's try and cancel the right blueprint here. They're about the same. 175, the other 78. Can I just ask what the... Is this just foundation? That's foundation. Okay. Could you cancel it from here? Because then you're just looking at this blueprint. Let's try it and find out. Yay, that was the right one. That means our roof, or sorry, our ceiling, is 78 logs. Oh, we got this. We got this. Let's do it. This place is slowly but surely coming together. Yeah, it's a big job. It's a labor of love. <laughs> it's a massive project. I like how the whole thing started off as a joke, too. Well, I like that you're making a summer camp, because it's something different than just completing the game. Yeah. I'm trying to think, what did it even stem from? Carson was, like, dying to build a zip line over the lake or something. And I was giving him crap. It's like, oh, you're trying to fill, like, some summer camp fantasy or something? Mm-hmm. And here we are. <laughs> building a massive summer camp. Four more logs. I'll let you do the honors again. Okay. Well, the last two. Whoa, that was weird. All right, we can still go to the sides. That should work. 
This looks about the same. You can't even jump in it. It's kind of funny. This is really where it matters. That looks when... pretty even to me. Mm hmm I like it. And that's not the roof line, as I feel like I've said like a dozen times. Oh, there is a cannibal. Or an uh, RMC. Oh! An RMC well, uh, that's gonna be it for today's episode, guys. Did it? Oh! It just took down a tree on to- Okay! Well, here's some action. Holy crap! Um, do you have a bow and arrow? Probably not, right? No. No, I have a slingshot, though. I'll try and make it pissed off at me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be where we end today's episode. As soon as we kill this thing, I won't leave it on that much of a cliffhanger. We got some wall to rebuild now, though. That's exciting. Said no one ever. Yeah, this is one thing I got to get worked out with having guests. We need to get everyone on the same page. There's four cannibals behind you. Just normal. Well, let's skin this thing and get out of here. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching today's episode. Oh, gosh. Skin it and run. I am. Thank you for joining us, Cafe. It was a pleasure. Yes. Oh, boy. Let's, uh... No need to use the gate anymore, I guess. Hey, at least it gave us some logs. Holy crap, it took out... That's so much wall. Alright, though. <sighs> oh, I hate ending on this note. I got repairs to do. Uh, when we get back next time, we'll probably have some work done. Off camera. Let's just run back and save. Let's do that. Okay, Just One run sec. and save. No, away from that. I can't run him out of stamina. I'm working on it. Yeah, I'm gonna run and save the world so they don't break everything. Um, I, I believe in you, Cafe. I believe in you. I'm probably gonna do some work. He's angry at you. I see that. Off camera. We'll get the, uh, the skin racks built. And the bone baskets. Really? This guy's got some speed to him. Well, this is annoying. Anyway, bone baskets and skin racks will most likely be filled. Sorry, this is difficult to do. They'll most likely be filled. And then we'll start working on finishing off the exterior, I think. Get all the roofs and the rest of the walls built. And then that place should be pretty, pretty much done. But that's going to do it for this episode. Cafe Annie, anything to say and then you're a woman a few words but bye we'll see you guys next time though thank you very much for watching and until then as always take care